All right, you just heard Eve of the War by Justin Hayward and Richard Byrne from Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War of the Worlds. You know, the thing about that album... What the heck? Who's there? Hunter? No, no, the well, okay, Mr. Revenant, as long as you have your review ready. Night on Blue Mountain presents The Rum Revenant, starring The Rum Revenant. It's good to be here, you know. Can you stop talking like that? You're wasting our time. Okay, fine. All right, thank you. Now, this week's movie is a um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, right? Indeed it is. And what a stupendous flick it was. A cinematic masterpiece. A tour de force. More like tour de farce. Hush, fool. It was better than we had been watching before. Yes, none of them hold a candle to the timeless classic that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, that's what I'm talking about. The concept was brilliant. The acting was superb. And the girls were fine. Oh, well, yeah, Debbie was pretty cute. Debbie, I was talking about the cl girl clowns with the inflatable bazongas. Lily Hunter... I mean, it was funny as hell, but really? Wanting, wanting to shut up clowns is like up there with bestiality and pedophilia. Don't judge me, only God can do that. And he says you're going to hell. Or anyway, the soundtrack was pretty sweet too. Better than that Bill Gass guy who did the Truman Show. Philip Glass. Huh? His name is Philip Glass. Glass Gas, I bet his entire discography doesn't even compare to the title track of this movie. Oh yes, F off, Cleonis Katsi soundtrack. We need to make room for this watershed moment in songwriting. See a rubber nose on a painted face, bringing genocide to the human race. Hey, at least it has lyrics. Touche, touche. Moving along, that dude's top notch. Grant Kramer as Mike Tobacco, John Allen Nelson as Dave Hanson, and the Dorency Brothers. Oh my god, I freaking love those guys. Well, they were pretty funny, especially when they interrupted all the couples at the top of the world with their ice cream chuck. <laughs> freaking genius, man. Well, yes, it was. Now, I'm a hunter. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the movie by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I like it very much. But I think you might be, well, making it out to be something that it isn't. It's called Killer Clowns from Outer Space? It's about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. What's to hate, dipstick? Hunter, I just said I didn't hate it. Why don't you try to make a better movie, Mr. Stanley Kubrick? Um, you know what? Forget it. Come, Mr. Continue, Mr. Ebert. But yes, yeah, the acting. Even the guy who played that fascist thug, Officer Mooney. Yeah, he was very good and very funny. I would hate his guts in real life, but on the screen, I love him to death. God, could you imagine if all policemen were like him? I don't need to, they already are. But still, I was sad when that one clown Charlie McCarthy did him. Oh yeah, that seemed like an... Well, an unpleasant way to go. <laughs> unpleasant indeed. By the way, the farmer that, played by, that was played by Howard Zinn was a real hoot too. Well, actually, that farmer was played by an actor of some repute, actually. Whoever it was, they were funny as frick. Too bad he and his dog were the first to get cotton candied. Most unfortunate. Now, if we could backtrack a little bit, I'd like to talk about something that you mentioned earlier. Sure, fire away! You said it's called Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and it's about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And then I called you a dipstick! Yes, you did. However, I think you managed to sum up what makes this movie so fun and so good in one very effective sentence. Oh? Well, the movie is what it is, and it doesn't pretend to be anything more. Oh, definitely. I went expect alien clowns, I got alien clowns. No more, and certainly no less. Also, even with a simple, straightforward concept, what would, what would happen if a uh, small town was invaded by aliens that looked and acted like clowns? They handled it very well, and very smartly even. Yeah, like when Mike, Dave, and the Terenzi brothers were inside the clown spaceship, and they tried to figure out when, why they came to Earth, and they rule out a full-scale invasion, and then one of them says, Hey, what if they just stop by for a bite to eat? Followed by an awkward silence. That was one of the best scenes of the movie, outside of the funny ones. Well, I thought you hated this movie. I've said repeatedly that I didn't. You liar, you deceiver. Anyway, you great bamboo eater. So, Hunter, do you have any closing thoughts on killer clowns from outer space? Well, there's not much more to talk about, aside from the undertones of drug usage. Well, uh, what? Well, oh, come on, Mike Tobacco, Debbie Stone. If you don't believe the Chico brothers were trying to tell us something, then I got some beachfront property in the Himalayas to sell you. Oh, but wait, Hunter, you forgot about Dave. Huh? You know, Dave Hansen. No, you mean... Yes, when they were making this movie, they were... Listening to Ambop? Mm-hmm. I must go. I need to take a bath. I'm the Rum Revenant, and this has been the Rum Revenant. Goodbye, Hunter, and happy Halloween. Goodbye, happy Halloween to you too.